when I found these two Jada Fast and Furious models at Toys R Us. I think they were $15 each. Man, they look great. And if you like the Fast and Furious movie, this is a nice big banner truck for your collection. This is pretty neat. Got a hauler so you can haul your models. Now, Jada's been around for a long time. Of course, I have all the colors of the 2001 Chevy Avalanche that they produced. This, is, this one's over 10 years old. Look, Jada also did Jurassic Park. Check out that Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6. Wow, that's, that's a fantastic collectible from the movie. Absolutely had to have that one. Even though I do focus on smaller scale models, this one too, I've said in several videos, I love these tires. I love the wheels on this model. I have not seen this movie, but I love that model. I'm a die-cast toy car collector. And even with this one here, yeah, I told you I like I like I like this car right here. The only thing is with these with that hauler, uh, I see all the other Jada products, and I'm not sure this is too big. It's not going to fit in fit on that hauler, that car carrier. Then I found this at Target. I think these are the ones that are going to fit. I already did a review on this complete set of these cars here. Check the description if you'd like to see the review. And then look, you get the pieces to put together Brian's Supra, Brian's Toyota Supra. But this video here is going to be for these two models. Both of the cabs are the same in the releases. This is the one that I'd probably prefer to have in my collection to display loose cars on. The other one is just kind of nice as a background uh, piece for the collection. Here's some of the look at the text and stuff that's on the box. Since I know some of you are international and you're kind of curious what it states. I do notice that it doesn't say anything about what size these trucks are with the with that piece right there. Those are 155 scale and it's set on the base, not on the package. So I wonder when I open this up if it'll say 155 scale or not. This is a licensed Fast and Furious release as well as a licensed Peterbilt Model 387 hauler. And the other is the car carrier. Both are licensed Peterbilts. Now, this has printing, whereas this is a decal on the back. We're going to take a look at the printing. Look, you got a nice amount of detail all over the model itself. And look, you can even see through the, uh, the sleeping compartment there. It looks like you got a window up on top too. Got smokestacks, rubber tires, nice grill. On the bottom you have the licensing information. It says Fast and Furious right there underneath. Uh, Jada Toys. I like this is pretty cool right here, this drivetrain, right? It's, it's like a little separate piece in there. Whereas most of the time with uh, cars, everything's just kind of a one piece. This is a separate piece. That's kind of nice got screws holding it together and as you're seeing it just pops right in and there's uh, there's your truck to drive around and this just get this piece of tape off of here let's go ahead and open it up let's see what we have got an empty uh, car car go container let's go ahead and get some uh, cars in there now, I'm going to go ahead and try these that came with the uh, build, the build-in collect. Let's see if they fit. Hey, you, your, your front end's too low. Uh, you're no good for the loops. We'll just kind of pretend this doesn't extend, does it? Nope. Got to check. Hey, fits. How about Dom's Charger? Fits. How about the Lycan Hypersport? Fits. Oh, looks like only two cars fit in there. Oh. I got three in. Let me see. Anybody stacked up? No, they look like they're uh, flat in there. I should I should put models that are not... Uh... Yeah, they were all sitting flat. Excellent. Let's put the Lycan in first because I can see him sitting flat. Let's put the white one. Uh, the Lycan's kind of... He's kind of got an odd body. I better not put him... I don't want him to get stuck in there. Come back. You got a tampo on the, I mean, a uh, sticker on the top, sticker on the, are they both the same? Both sides are the same. Dooley's in the back. Uh, not Dooley's, dual axle. Let's try that again. Let's get him. He's all the way in. Now let's do this one. He's in. Well, looks like you get two in there. 
Oh, he's, he's popping up the uh, he's popping up the Nissan. You get two of these cars in there, but like if you if you have the Hot Wheels Fast and Furious line, these are 164 scale. Oh, by the way, it does say 164 scale somewhere here on the base. I seen it say 164 right here. Scale 164. These cars are 155. Let's try the Hot Wheels 164 models. Let's get the charger in there. Well, he's, I can't put him because he's hard to see once he's in there. Let's go ahead and get the uh, 80, 94 Toyota Supra. Let's go ahead and get him in there. Let's see which other ones do I want to put in there. How about uh, we'll get this one here. Oh, these are, I've already opened them. That's why they're upside down. That's why when I grab a package, if it's upside down, I know I've already opened that car. Let's go ahead and get the 70 Dodge Charger RT. That fit in. Maybe you had the Hot Wheels Basic Assortment. This was Fast and Furious. 70 Ford Escort RS 1600. Let's see him. Oh, not quite. Oh. Hey, it stayed. So I could get three 164 cars in there. But the uh, Build and Collect. These are just a little bit too big to get three cars in there. Now the car carrier has the same exact cab. In the box, I'll have it kind of squished, squished together like this to fit in the box. We have uh, some little things in here to let us know to take it apart. And then hook it on right there. There you go. I didn't need this. I could have figured that out myself. But I guess sometimes consumers, you know, they can't figure it out. So they got to put these things in there. These are uh, stickers. These two pieces are stickers right here. These are actually printed on there. Let's see what else we have. I'm going to take it apart and make it easier. Here you have a uh, part here to drive the cars across the top. So once you get the cars up here, this is how you drive them across. The bottom should have one too then. Yeah, you got one on the bottom. Now for the top, how do you get your cars up there? Let's see. We got to uh, move this part right here. And you'll see a channel in the back there. So this slides up and down that channel. Can you see that channel? It slides up and down that channel, and then you can push it into lock. Let's try it now. All the way down. Slide this out. Doesn't quite reach the ground, but that's how you would take your models and drive them up there. Drive them up, come across. Ah, jump! Dukes of Hazard. Let's put that back together. And then for the bottom, got a little thing to come out the bottom as well. Let's get Brian's. I mean, uh, let's get the this one here, the Nissan. Bring it in. There you go. Now for the Hot Wheels, you have the Corvette Roadster. These will fit on there just fine. Let me bring this across so that you can see how it'll fit. See, it fits. Look, just fits just perfectly. It's right there in between. Go. Goodbye. Ford Escort. Goodbye. The Lycan. That's how the Lycan will fit on there. So that's a good width for these 155 and 164 scale models. Let me go ahead and just do this real quick so I can uh, just get a little pose for the ending uh, segment here. Like I said, I got these at Toys R Us for $15. I think they were $14.99. Could be mistaken. Um, it's, been a, it's been a month or so since I bought them. One, two, three, four... There are two more cars that go with this, the build and collect set. Okay, maybe I have to turn them sideways. Maybe my table is a little crooked. Four, five, six. There you go. No, that's not him. Six models. I can't forget my favorite. Love those tires. Anyways, there's a look at some Jada die cast. A couple car Peter built uh, vehicles, Peter built trucks for you for the die cast collector. Uh, you know what? Buy what you like, buy what you can enjoy, and enjoy the hobby. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.